Hi, I'd like to welcome you to uh, the course uh, uh, Wisdom from World Religions uh, with Sir John Templeton. Um, we, this is the first of, of a day of 18 days, which uh, will be spread out over the next six weeks. And uh, I and my team, we've been working uh, really hard to try to make a, a co this course as, as interesting and as valuable as, we, as it can be. Um, for more inter int information about how the course works, uh, please see the orientation video and please look to the course website for more up-to-date information. Um, the, the theme of this course is um, Wisdom from World Religions with Sir John uh, Templeton as our guide. Um, and as he writes, evidences are increasing that there's more to why you're here than what you presently know. Your search for that something more can be a sacred adventure into new insights, provocative choices, unexpected turning points, and an enthusiasm to enter the unknown. Here we find many of the themes that we will be covering in this course already foreshadowed, already expressed up front. Um, and, but the, the most basic idea that I'd like to convey to you right now is that for Sir John Templeton, the quest for spiritual wisdom was also a journey into the unknown. He was a great adventurer of the spirit. He's well known as a financier, as an investor, uh, and perhaps as well known is his enthusiasm and great interest in, in, the, in growing and increasing humanity's spiritual knowledge. And for Sir John, this was not just a matter of scriptural knowledge or reading texts or encountering people from other religious traditions. For him as well, it, it, it involved uh, increasing our scientific understanding of religion as well. In fact, what he really was most passionate about was expanding the boundaries of what we know about how spirituality works in our lives. And for that reason, his Templeton Prize uh, gave awards to um, major figures in religion and also his Templeton World Charity uh, Foundation, which is funding this uh, course, uh, is very much involved at the cutting edge of science and religion in trying to develop an understanding of why religion and spirituality are good for us uh, and how science can also expand its horizons through deep encounters with spiritual figures and with the, the wisdom of the world's religions. So, for more practically, what may have the question is why are you taking this course? What draws you to this course? It's possible that some of the great questions in life uh, are, are the reason why you found this course. Perhaps you wonder, who am I? It's a deep question. It's an old question. And of course, to answer it is why all of the world's philosophies and religions have arisen in the first place. It's a very important question. Who am I? Why am I here? What is here when you think about it? Where are we? What is this place? It's, it's a kind of commonplace everydayness that's wrapped within a deep mystery, a profound mystery. What is the universe? What is the source of the universe? Why is the universe orderly? These are all the kinds of questions that animated Sir John Templeton. These are the kinds of questions that we can find answers to, solid, durable, ancient answers in the world's religious traditions. And so over the next few weeks together, I hope to be able to answer some of those questions with you or at least make the beginnings of trying to find an answer for ourselves. Um, I would like to say a few words today about uh, Sir John Templeton's unique spiritual vision. As he wrote, um, the rich variety of world religions creates a tapestry of amazing beauty, a testimony to the spiritual nature of our human visit on earth. So Sir John Templeton uh, had a great respect for religion, but he was also a great admirer of science. And uh, so it was his hope that through the interaction between science and religion and on the religion side between people from all of the world's religious traditions, that there would be what he called for a hundredfold increase in spiritual knowledge over the next two centuries. Because as he looked at at science, how science has developed in the last five centuries, especially in the last century, there has been an, an, a, there has there has been such an increase in knowledge that no one can keep up with it. But when he looked to the side of religion, he noticed that 
real developments in the realm of spirit do seem to be a much, uh, a much rarer. They, don't, they seem to arise less frequently. And so he was hoping to stimulate a, a real growth uh, in that interchange between science and religion. Um, another of the themes that we find in this book is where Sir John Templeton uh, calls p us, calls people, to become con constructive participants in building heaven on earth. And uh, this is a resonant and rich phrase, uh, and it requires uh, actualization. How can we make our lives uh, more fulfilled, spiritually fulfilled? Well, in the book that is the textbook for this course, uh, Wisdom from World Religions, Pathways Toward Heaven on Earth, uh, it's available in various formats, as you can see in the syllabus, Sir John Templeton articulates 200 spiritual laws, um, spiritual principles, and these uh, are always expressed in his own wonderfully poetic and unique writing style. And many of them are so wonderfully crafted that they could actually be carved in stone somewhere. And I, I have been taken uh, by many of them, and I think about them often. Uh, he all, for instance, he refers to um, the, the creation, the world in which we live, as being infused with the spirit of the divine. And he speaks about in his own unique phrase, God life moving through everything. I'll have more to say about that in a later lecture. So this God life that moves through everything uh, is, is, uh, is, is, is the source of human well-being, and it's the source of the unity of life, and thus it's the source of the unity of science and religion. And he expresses this in 200 uh, pithy statements. And we don't have time to go through all 200 of them in this course. We only have six weeks together and 18 days. But what I have done then is I have taken the 18 themes for this course uh, from the book, from his book, and with each of these 18 themes, I have, I have paired, that, paired them with a spiritual law. And the spiritual law, directly taken from his book, expresses an underlying principle, sort of the grammar of life. And if we were to uh, adopt these principles or to cultivate them more profoundly in our life, we would start to experience for ourselves the truth of spiritual wisdom, which is ultimately what I would like to do with you in this course. And so what we will be doing together over the next few weeks is... Um, in each of our sessions together, I will uh, I will spend some time talking about one of these uh, one of these eighteen of the two hundred spiritual laws, and then we will look at a, at one of the world's religious traditions. I've selected eleven of them. I will I will not read all of the names to to you. Some of them are very familiar: Buddhism, Hinduism, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and others may be new to many of you, even though they're not new themselves, like Sikhism and Jainism and Zoroastrianism, and others are newer but still not as widely known, such as the Baha'i Faith. And what I will then attempt to do is to show how Sir John Templeton profited from his encounter with, with these traditions and how he was able in his own elegant and poetic way to express the essence of these traditions or their essential teachings uh, in his own spiritual laws. Uh, and then, uh, this course is not just meant to be theoretical, it's also quite practical, and the practical part will be in the third video of each day in which I will try to display a spiritual practice, a meditative technique, a contemplative practice, or a, a reflective practice where we think deeply about some truth in order to uh, alter the conditions of our life. Uh, and so this third video each day will be uh, my take on Sir John's spiritual practices, which he, of course, derived from the uh, religious traditions uh, of the world that form the, the background of this book. So that was a lot to say in our opening video, and if I were to distill that in a sentence or two, I would simply say that Humanity's spiritual heritage is, in my perspective, and I think Sir John Templeton would, would agree, it's actually the greatest uh, resource and the greatest gift that we have as human beings. Because unlike in any other discipline of life, 
spirituality and religion can give us a sure roadmap from moving from our everyday consciousness where we may feel fragmented and alienated and disconnected and to restore us to wholeness with ourselves, with our neighbors, with our communities and with the whole of life.